Hello? Hello? There's no use in hiding, whoever you are. I know you're in here. I heard you break in. You know, for a thief, you are very clumsy. Maybe the next time you try to rob someone in the middle of the night, you shouldn't start by stomping around in their garden. And at the convent, nonetheless? I'm the only nun in this town, and you've even come to terrorize me? Can't you just let this town live in peace? You still won't come out then, huh? <laughs> you must have thought the convent would be an easy target. Well, unfortunately for you, I'm not like the others. Now come on out here before I alert the entire town! I'll give you to the count of three. One. Two. Aha, uh -huh, there you are. What a coward you are, sneaking around in the shadows where my candle can't even reach. It doesn't matter, though. I don't need to see your face or your figure to know exactly who you are. I've been hearing whispers about a dark figure that's been scaring the livestock and driving the townsfolk mad with confusion and fear. Do you know how many people have come to me asking for blessings and for me to pray over their houses? These are a simple people, and you have them all agonizing over some evil spirit terrorizing the town. They've crafted up superstitions, and now they've even left offerings outside of their doors to keep you away. How dare you come to this quiet town and turn it on its head? Why don't you go back to whatever land you hail from and just leave this town alone? <laughs> You're sorry? That's all you have to say? Is this some kind of sick joke to you? Some hurtful prank that you and your friends can play on us? Well, you've got nowhere to run now, you little thief, so why don't you let me get a good look at you? I think it's time I laid eyes on this so-called evil spirit that's got the whole town running scared. <sighs> Dear God, I, I don't believe it. This can't be real. You're no evil spirit. You're... you're something so much worse. A demon. Right before my very eyes. A real demon. Of course I know what you are. I've read of your kind. Many times, in fact. Quick and stealthy with eyes that glow in the moonlight. But usually, they're stronger than you seem to be. And you're not nearly as swift as the legends make you all out to be. In fact, I'd say you look quite frail. And goodness, you're covered in dirt. Tell me, demon, when was the last time you had a proper meal? Uh, 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 hey, gotcha. Not so fast. Where are you trying to go? Ah, so you do have wings. Wings as dark as the night sky. Just as the legends told. I suppose you only show them when you feel threatened. <laughs> do I threaten you, demon? Are you trying to scare me? <laughs> Perhaps if you weren't so weak, I would run from you. But instead, it looks like you can't even break your wrist free from my grasp. <laughs> Ah, and there are your claws. Claws as sharp as daggers. Yet another true verse from my reading. Unfortunately, these threats of yours are ringing quite hollow right now. You say you'll tear me to shreds, but from where I'm standing, I'll break your wrist before you even touch me. <sighs> I guess I'll forgive you for breaking into my home. You seem hungry. Starved, even. You were probably only looking for some food. As strange as that may be. And what kind of nun would I be if I didn't try to help anyone in need? Come, I'll make you something. If I wanted to kill you, I would have done it as soon as I heard you destroying my garden. It took a while to plant all of that, you know. Now, come, sit down. I'll make you something to eat. I must admit, I don't exactly know what demons eat, though. From all that I read, it seemed like demons either ate wild animals in the forest or feasted on souls in the underworld and things like that. You can't. 
What do you mean you can't? I've seen your claws. They look sharp to me. You're meant to destroy. That's what demons do. <laughs> You're afraid. <laughs> A fearful demon. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> you're you're serious. <laughs> you're afraid to kill? A demon who's afraid to kill. So you steal from our homes so you won't have to kill. You best be careful with what you eat from here, though, demon. The more you steal from us humans, the more you'll have a taste for how we make our food. And what would the other demons think of you then? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I'm glad that the common demons will always think highly of their prince. Wait, did you just say prince? You wouldn't perhaps be one of the six princes of the underworld. I've read so much about you and your brothers in my studies. So then what is a prince of your stature doing amongst these humans? Surely you have beings to cater to your every whim. What do you need us and our food for? Yes, I have noticed that you're quite weak. Your claws are sharp and your eyes glow quite brightly, but your horns... They're so small and... dainty, even. <laughs> so in order to speed up this underworld transformation of yours, your family has sent you to our world to hone your craft. <laughs> Judging by the look of you, it hasn't been a very fruitful journey now, has it? So then exactly where have you been staying all this time? Ah, so that's why the townsfolk have been afraid to go to the caves lately. It turns out there really has been something evil living in there. <laughs> yes, I understand that my demeanor is strange. And perhaps it's not very normal for a nun to be helping a demon. I'm sure that laughing and cooking for a evil entity such as yourself might seem strange, but I'm not exactly known for following the rules anyway. You didn't think it was strange that this town only had one nun? I was sent here as punishment. Well, for reading about you and your kind. The others said that it would poison my thinking. But how can we truly understand and appreciate the angels and the saints and their works without knowing of the demons as well? And with that logic, I kept reading and even started teaching what I had learned. And after a while, the others got tired of me and my ways and they sent me here to this land far, far away from home. So I'm here. Alone. Yes, it does get a bit quiet, but the town has been nice, and that's why I care so much about them. And, you know, I really didn't mind leaving the other nuns. But what I did care about was leaving my little brother. He was the only friend I ever had. He was small and frail, just like you. And oh, did he have a heart of gold. Just like I think you do. Yes, you do. I can tell. I see a lot of him in you. You came to rob me, and the first words you said when I caught you were, I'm sorry! <laughs> I just think you're meant to do good, not evil. How about you and I make a deal? If you promise to do good deeds, and you help me rid this town of these superstitions that you seem to have started, then you can stay here as long as you'd like. And I'll gladly take care of you. I'll feed you, and you can have a nice roof over your head. I'll even get you new clothes to replace these... Very, very dirty ones. So how does that sound? <laughs> well, 
Wonderful. Our first task of you doing good will be you helping me fix that garden that you ruined. (laughs) But for now, let's get you up to bed. It's pretty late and you look like you haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. (laughs) I'll go into town and I'll get you some new clothes to wear. (laughs) You're very welcome. Now you just rest here. I'll be right back. 